On September 11, 2001, our nation became even more aware of the critical role emergency first responders play in saving lives. On that day, thousands of lives were saved because of the quick response and world-class training of the fire departments, law enforcement agencies, EMTs, and paramedics that were on the scene. It's very important for the first person at the scene of an accident or an incident to be as prepared as they possibly can to help everybody involved, to not only help the person that might be injured or in stress, but to help the people around there and coordinate the activities. And the first responders have to be able to do more than their initial job or the job that they initially trained for. These professionals need to be cross-trained to handle terrorism, health emergencies, law enforcement, and other highly specialized areas of emergency first response in order to minimize casualties and secure the public's safety. When the ambulance arrives or the fire truck arrives, or when the police officer arrives at the scene, the first aid or the first treatment they get will be of the type of quality that they'll get when they get to the emergency room. Thus, it'll save more lives and the injuries won't be as severe. More and more technical colleges, such as Albany Technical College in Albany, Georgia, are meeting that need with programs specifically designed to train tomorrow's first responders. Our EMT program, Emergency Medical Technology, is already blended with first-class firefighters. So we're educating people for this community who are not only first-class firefighters, but are EMTs also. So if a firefighter arrives first, he or she is prepared to handle the entire situation. The college's new Charles B. Gillespie, MD, Center for Emergency Responders is the first of its kind and one of a kind in the state of Georgia. Dr. Gillespie was the original faculty member for the EMS program in Georgia. He helped draft the curriculum, he taught the program here, and the program that he developed was eventually adopted over the entire state. Um, he has recently retired as an orthopedic surgeon. He still lives here in Albany, gives a lot of his time and his talent. And it was his challenge that kept this program moving forward and, and striving to be the best that it could be. This is the largest EMS fire and police training center in the state of Georgia. Um, it has labs for specific medical problems. It has fire training uh, labs. It has live equipment like fire trucks, ambulances, um, police cars. We use hands-on education as a way of getting the point across to students after they've been in the classroom. Each program requires a specific amount of time working on task, whether that's working in the on-site crime lab or on the school's very own fire truck or on its sophisticated mannequin, which simulates an actual patient. Book work is coupled with real-world training taught by instructors who have worked in the fields for decades. Within the classroom settings, they have the opportunity to do practical exercises and share upon some of the stories that these instructors may be able to uh, tell these uh, students. Uh, with that, it makes it for an easy transition into the work system, and uh, we have a 98% uh, placement rate. We have a human patient simulator, so when the students learn in the classroom about an airway problem or a cardiac arrest, we can actually put them in the back of an ambulance with a human patient simulator that really simulates that particular problem that the students were learning in the classroom. Very, very real. We developed a system where we can take firefighters and develop them through a career pathway and do this through academic and occupational courses. So we can take a person at a national professional qualification, firefighter one, up and through firefighter, uh, fire officer one and fire officer two, the fire instructor and fire inspector, all through a fire science degree program. Threats of terrorism are increasing across the globe, and it's emphasizing the need for first responders to work together and present a unified front in order to keep our communities and citizens safe. The students learn NIMS, the National Incident Management System, which is now used by all first responders at every scene. Well, one of the first things we do with the increase of school violence, uh, we uh, make sure that our students are prepared. We make sure that they know what to look for in the changing of some of their classmates or some of the other students who come on campus or just persons coming in and off and about the campus in itself. 
Uh, the second thing we do is that we make sure that our students are prepared in the event that an actual active shooter takes place on our campus, the things that they need to do, how to report that. And then in the aftermath, uh, those young people already know what, what it entails, uh, the type of training, uh, the types of counseling that may come, in, come into play. And then with this being done, it, it helps for an easy transition into the real world. As society has changed in recent years, law enforcement has changed with it. Keeping up with those changes is what makes this program unique. Here at Albany Tech, what we're doing is that not only do we have to teach our or instruct our students about regular types of crimes, but we're looking at terrorism. Uh, it's all about security of our United States of America. And what we do with our students here is uh, we talk about sharing of information. We talk about communications. We talk about some of the vulnerabilities of our United States, such as our transportation, education, our banking establishment, and our fuel. Many municipalities and agencies are having a difficult time filling emergency response positions because of the inherent danger of the job and the low pay for high-risk quotient. But Albany Tech is working hard to overcome that obstacle. Well, these jobs are about service, and the students that apply for these jobs generally come to serve their fellow man. Uh, so they're not in a position, or they don't bring a position that they're looking for a large amount of money. Of course, we want them to be compensated fairly, but we tell them if, if their quality of, of the work that they provide um, is high enough, people will recognize what they do. And as time goes on, we see individuals earning more and more money. I've been an EMT for almost five years. I've worked with several people that have gone through this program and told me what, uh, that it was such an excellent program that um, Mr. Proctor is a, a great teacher and um, so I decided to further my career and go into paramedic school and I chose this school because of all the um, extraordinary things that have been going on with this school. They have a great fire science program and I'm interested in a career in the fire service and. I'd like to go far in it, and this is just where I chose to, to get my fire science diploma. Albany Technical College has developed several partnerships with area agencies, including the Georgia Department of Corrections and the Albany Fire Department. These agencies send their current employees to ATC for continuing education and training. The uh, Department of Corrections has a requirement that they continue their education. So we have um, tied our curriculum in to those particular needs. The Albany Fire Department um, has a first class firefighter training program that they're hoping that most of their firefighters have before they come to work. That way they're able to do some basic things and support fire science and fire service here in Albany. But to be promoted, they need to have a diploma and an associate degree. So they're encouraging many of their um, current employees that are in fire science to move forward and to get their degrees. And no one hires a graduate of this program without getting a warranty. If the student doesn't have a particular skill that they should have, that student comes back to Albany Tech and gets re-educated at no cost, no direct cost to the employee. Communities depend on emergency first responders for safety and protection. Facilities like this one at Albany Technical College will allow for continued excellence in training and education. For more information about Albany Technical College and the Gillespie Center for Emergency Responders, visit albanytech.edu.